Hello, how are you doing today? My name is Jared. I am so happy to be with you here. Um, you know, I don't see a lot of furniture repair craftsmen, uh, especially who focus on the integrity and servicing in home. So um, let's go through this real quick. I know it's kind of a, you know, very specific niche that you're in, um, but I do want to kind of just give you some tips and tricks real quick. Take about five minutes, go through your website, and just kind of talk about some of the things that I see, um, you know, as I look at these things every day. So, um, so as we go through the website, the front page here we really would like to see being, you know, a little more built out. I understand, you know, a lot of people build these themselves. It looks like this is well done, so I would say that you had help with this. Um, you know, but we want to build out that home page, really get 1,500 words of content. And I know you're like, what? I know. I get it. I get it all the time. Um, but, you know, we're really trying to get found for keywords. We want to be very specific. We want to really spell things out. We want to have a lot of content so that people... Um, you know, not just people, but Google wants to send people to our website. So let's go ahead and take a look at Google here. What I did is I just searched furniture repair Richmond VA, right? And I'm not in your area, so it should pull up, you know, everything um, organically how it should be. So right here, this is the map pack. Uh, and the way that we get ranked here is your name, address, and phone number on as many places around the internet as possible. Second thing, we need to be competing for those reviews. So as you can see, I can't see your citations right now. I can look them up, but um, you are getting the most reviews and you are ranked in the map pack. So doing well there. Right here is the organic section. So Yelp is kicking your butt. They're outranking you twice. Uh, so we want to actually come in and how do we outrank Yelp, right? And that's not too hard. It's a matter of being a local business and then standing on that with everything that you have. You need to be standing on being local, um, you know, to the end, to the end of time kind of thing. So um, so Home Advisor, Angie's List, you're sitting right in here with all these big players, uh, but you have to remember that none of these are local. So these have a lot of back pages that we're going to, and this is just your main home page right here. So your whole website is competing with just a couple of back pages with Yelp and with Tinker and Company looks like the uh, next follow-up. But what we're going to do since you're already ranking so well is we're just going to dive into your back page and we're going to talk about that just a little bit. These are your keywords you're getting found for. I went ahead and I've already nixed everything that says Weathersby. The reason for that is just because if they're searching Weathersby, they know your name, right? If they know your name, they've met you, they've seen you somewhere else. Whether that's a billboard, a truck, or they know you from a friend, they know you. So they're not Googling to find you for the first time. They're Googling to get the information that they were searching for because they already saw you somewhere. So what we want to look at is we want to target that traffic that's coming from people who didn't know your name and are also looking for your services. So what I want to do is kind of explain what a, a buyer intent keyword is. So furniture repair is what we want and we need it in Richmond, Virginia. Again, furniture repair, we need it in Richmond. So it's what do I want and where do I need it? So you always want to have Richmond, Virginia in your keywords because if somebody comes in and types furniture repair, Google doesn't know if you're in Richmond or Omaha or you know California. They don't know. They can tell you where your location is sometimes um, you know, and base it off of that. But what we really want to know is if somebody says, I need something in Williamsburg, I need something in Richmond, why would they be saying that? Well, it's because they're there. They need that local service and you're a local company. So very important that we are targeting, you know, these targeted keywords, these buyer intent keywords. So in home furniture repair near me, looks like it's a big one you're missing out on 150 people per month search that and you're getting, you know, 0 0.1 or 0 0.01. Um, you know, for that, because you're ranked all the way down on the fourth page. So right here is the position we can go through. So on the first page, you have five of these keywords. So we're doing well there. Out of 150, you're able to grab 22 of those. So, you know, we're doing well. We just kind of need to solidify our lead and, you know, build out our presence a little bit with keywords. All right, so I just backed up a quick step. So overall, you're getting 100 traffic. You're getting 53 words um, on the website that you're getting found for. And then right here, this 3.5, 22, and 9, this is going to be the entire website score. So your entire website sitting out of 3.5 out of 100, and you have 22 backlinks coming from 9 other websites. So it's just another website like a Yellow Pages that hosted some sort of content about you, and then they're sending a link referring someone back to your page if they choose to do so. All right, that is all I've got for you. I hope that was helpful. I do try to keep these short. Um, like I said, you're already doing well. You don't have a whole lot of competition, um, but Yelp is beating you out. So anybody who's coming in and wasn't paying attention, they might click through Yelp trying to find somebody before they landed on your actual page, uh, which would be a shame. 
because there's you know 10, 15 service providers on Yelp um, that are going to help scare them away from doing that service. So it's important to get you in front of them uh, and help service those needs. My name is Jared. My phone number is 402-515-7222. If you have any questions or concerns, please give me a call. I'd love to talk to you about this some more and help out any way that I can. Thanks.